Today, we're gonna go back to the 1950s, and we're gonna look at the career of one of rock and roll's biggest losers, Garth Arfonza Smelly. Fonza Smelly had one of the hottest bands in early rock and roll history, Garth and the Greasers. But his refined sense of smell made Fonza Smelly difficult to work with. My band had a chance to open for Fats Domino at the Brooklyn Paramount. But Fats used to eat these salami sandwiches from the deli next door. They stunk. I couldn't work with them. Then Garth and the Greasers had the chance to perform with the king, Elvis Presley. Yeah, Elvis used to eat those fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Whoa, you couldn't get next to him after he ate one of those things. Elvis reeked. I couldn't work with him. The Greasers were forced to break up, and Fonza Smelly spent the rest of his life working as a fry cook at Hal's Diner in Milwaukee. But even there, he had troubles. Hal put gorgonzola cheese on his burgers. That cheese was rank. I couldn't work there. That's Garth Arfonza Smelly, rock and roll's biggest doofus. Whoa, that's not cool, and hey, I stink. Not cool, but true, my dude. I'm Mitch Mitchell, reminding you to keep your hands in your pockets, keep your eyes on your fries, and keep thinking the good thoughts, dude.